I will be discussing topic 41b. In order to observe mutations in a DNA sequence, we must first translate it to mRNA. Here I have done that by converting every thymine nucleotide to uracil for improved efficiency. I then use the coding dictionary to determine the corresponding amino acids for each codon. Transversion and transition refer to the type of nucleotide that is being mutated. Transversion mutations are interchanges of one ring pyrimidine bases for two ring purine bases. An example of this is exchanging adenine for cytosine. Transition mutations are interchanges of two ring purines like adenine and guanine or one ring pyrimidines like cytosine and thymine. Mycense mutations are the most common type of point mutations. These mutations involve the change of a single base pair, causing the substitution of a different amino acid in the resulting protein. As you can see, when a transition takes place in one letter of the cytine codon, the mutated codon will code for a different amino acid. This mutation is a transition because it is exchanging purine guanine for purine adenine. A good analogy for mycense mutations are airport codes. Airports use three-letter codes to represent the cities that they are flying to. If you are wanting to fly to Greensboro, North Carolina, you should show up at the gate that says GSO. If you show up at the gate that says GSP, you will be taken to Greenville, South Carolina. Although there is only a difference of one letter between the two codes, you will be taken to completely different cities. In the same sense, mycense mutations only observe the exchange of a single letter nucleotide in a codon. Although minimal, it will code for an entirely different amino acid. Silent mutations are mutations that do not have an observable effect on an organism's phenotype. In this example, the uracil nucleotide in alanine is changed to an adenine nucleotide. Although this creates a different codon, it will still code for the same amino acid. This mutation is a transversion because pyrimidine uracil is exchanged for purine adenine. Nonsense mutations are mutations in which a sense codon is changed to a chain terminating codon. In this example, purine guanine is exchanged for purine adenine changing the amino acid that it codes for from tryptophan to a stop codon and creating an earlier termination of the amino acid chain. This can disrupt the function of a protein leading to genetic disorders. Read-through mutations convert a stop codon into an encoding amino acid. In this example, the purine adenine in our stop codon is changed to a pyrimidine cytosine nucleotide. This codon sequence changes the stop codon to a cysteine codon due to the codon's tendency to code for different amino acids. This will elongate the amino acid chain until another stop codon is present. Nonsense and read-through mutations reminded me of dominoes. This video represents the mRNA strand without any mutations. The black domino represents the stop codon. The amino acid chain will continue until it reaches the stop codon. This video represents a nonsense mutation. A codon earlier in the amino acid sequence would normally continue the chain. As a result of the nonsense mutation, it will be converted to a stop codon and prematurely stop the amino acid chain. The rest of the dominoes represent the rest of the original mRNA strand. This video represents a read-through mutation. Without this mutation present, a black domino would be present to represent a stop codon. The read-through mutation has converted this stop codon to an encoding amino acid which is represented by the white dominoes. The amino acid chain will now continue until we reach another stop codon, or in this case, another black domino. 